Hey guys, welcome to BP to Bible Perspective. Let's talk about gospel singer Bobby Storm's scene or epic scene on a Delta flight that the virus went viral. Now, was she sharing her faith or was she promoting fame? That's what I want to explore. But before we do, please like and share this video and subscribe to BP to Bible Perspective. And as always, if you have a thought or comment, add it to the comment section below. All comments are welcome. Now, some of you may be aware of this video of gospel singer Bobby Storm, who has now gone viral of her uh, confrontation on a Delta flight. Now, I'm going to, I want to dissect it and, um, um, and analyze because I want to come from this thought. Was she really sharing her faith or was she promoting fame? Because I, I'm kind of disturbed when people use the, the Lord's name and in reality, they're just promoting their own product or their own fame or their own glory. So I want to take this, I want to take it apart. Let me do this. Um, well, first, let me say this. So this is kind of the screenshots of kind of the confrontation, We kind of a the first, the one on the left is kind of after the flight attendant left, and the one on the right, of course, this is the flight uh, attendant telling her to be quiet. Now, we're, we'll play the clip and you will see that uh, exchange. I'm not going to focus on the flight attendant himself, excuse <coughs> me, because my focus is on Bobby Storm. In other words, I'm not going to take apart whether or not if he was right or wrong. Let me just say this. Flight attendants have a wide latitude to control the plane, the environment. Uh, he could have um, um, had her escorted off. He could have had her arrested. And I'm going to tell you, we're going to we're going to see why. Because in my opinion, I thought she became combative when she shouldn't have. Now, again, I'm not here to kind of critique the flight attendant. I do think he escalated it. Uh, people with power and flight attendants over the years, especially since 9-11, have been given this wide latitude, as I said, and authority. And do that, does that authority go to their head sometimes? Yes. I'm not critiquing it here um, because as we're going to see, um, I think he became bothered by her. And so the question is, should she, should she have complied and not make a scene? Because did she, did her actions escalate, let's say, his anger? <laughs> but I'm not here to focus on him. I want to focus on her claim that she was sharing her faith. So I want to play a news clip of kind of a short news clip. And then I'm going to play some other clips where I can dissect them, uh, dissect the inner, the, the exchange. So here we go. Spreading the gospel, <laughs> it didn't go so well for a singer on a Delta flight. Bobby Storm was threatened to be removed from the plane after she reportedly refused to stop singing. And as she had just learned that she was nominated for two Grammys. I'm up for two Grammys. My very first time, you guys. My name is Bobby Storm, and I'm up for two Grammys. I sing for the Lord. I've gotten to the next status, so. Are you able to be quiet? But they're enjoying it. So while we're sitting here, could I please? I'm not enjoying it. So I'm asking you, can you be quiet? Okay. <laughs> oh video shows Storm speaking with the flight attendant, first asking her to sit down. As soon as the attendant left, she sang quietly. She sang a song for, she said, passengers around her. I thank you for each day in my life. Look up Maverick City. Maverick City has an album out right now. Storm posted the video on social media, receiving both praise and backlash. Some say she deserved the right to sing, while others said that she was being disruptive. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Okay, so that's just a short clip, news clip. I'm going to play some clips that are get to go into more detail. And again, I want to dissect and analyze her actions. Mainly, was she really sharing her faith? 
Um, so this next clip, this is her comments after she's home. She's posting this, um, you know, I guess after the, maybe the, uh, the, 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 the video went viral. And so here's what she has to say. And this is after the fact. Now I'm playing this first because I want you to hear what she is saying. And then we're going to go back and get a little more detail uh, of, of the exchange on the plane. So uh, here we go. Hey, you guys, it's rest day for me. So the hair is looking a little crazy, but I wanted to follow up with you guys on Delta. Um, they did reach out to me. So whoever called, <laughs> um, I, I, I can't say thank you because I don't want this man to be reprimanded um, where he. I don't know what she means by I don't want the man to if by saying thank you. She doesn't she don't want the man to be reprimanded. Um, and then two. So did she talk with them? She said they reached out to her. Now she's going to indicate if she's, cause she's going to tell people to stop calling to make people was calling in. So, so far, it seems like to me that Delta is just simply trying to manage a PR catastrophe or potential. Okay, that's it. In other words, it's not admitting right or wrong or guilt or innocent. To be reprimanded um, where he loses his job, I simply want us to keep in mind how to treat each other. And um, there was no rules being broken. Um, now... So I want you to keep that in mind. She says how we should treat one another because I'm going to now come back and throw that back in her face, how we treat one another. And then she says, oh, there were no rules broken. Well, I'm going to push back on that as well. There were rules broken. She broke them. All right, here we go. Um, and it was just me spreading my joy with people after they gave me the go to do so. So I just hope um again not necessarily truthful when 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 she says they i'm gonna show the clip because again to me she's trying to spin it now when she says that they gave the go well after you sort of forced the question in other words no one no one says hey bobby sing for us hey there's bobby sing for us she forced the whole incident so yeah, people sit around, okay, you know, and when she asked, so when she said when people gave the call, again, she, I, I, I feel she's not being really, I feel she's being disingenuous right here. And again, in terms of what she's trying to promote or what she's trying to kind of come across. I hope that if he watches this, he's able to learn a valuable lesson on how to treat other people. But I just want to say you guys can stop reaching out to Delta. They have apologized. And they are fans of Maverick City. So the best way you guys can support me and my music is by just streaming my single, We Can't Forget Them, and going to check out Maverick City and praying that we take home the Grammys that we're nominated for. So again, you can see right here, she is promoting her music. So really, this is what this is about, her promoting her music. Now... Am I against her promoting her music? No. The platform definitely was wrong, and as we will see. Uh, so, and again, where is the sharing of the faith at? Okay. Um, I thank you guys for all of your support. Everybody has opinions, so it's not stopping anything on this good Saturday morning. God bless you all, and lead with love on purpose. Okay, so that was her after the fact. And again, to me, it was, again, it turned into not necessarily telling all of the story. And it certainly turned into her continually to promote her music. <clears throat> okay, so let's, this is a more in-depth uh, video that I pulled off YouTube, a more in-depth um, um, picture of, this, of, the, of what happened here. I'm starting right now on the billboard. I can sit down and I'll sit, I'll sit down. I'll sit down. 
Now, what what you see here is so this is okay, kind of the beginning of the incident. So she is she is walking the aisles now. And if you notice, she's the only one walking the aisle. And as I said, it seems like they're getting ready to taxi. So she's walking the aisle. But the reason why she's walking the aisle is so that she could share her joy. Now, the joy is that she, I think, obviously, probably just got notified uh, via phone, email, emails, social media, whatever, that she's nominated for two Grammy Awards. And that's a big deal, without a doubt. It's a big deal to her. I give it to her. But she's on a plane here. Now, understand, she's on a plane that's getting ready to taxi. So that, that's the first thing. She's on the airplane. Now, so the, the, the flight attendant now is telling her to sit down. And so her response immediately is she's pushing back on him telling her that she needs to sit down. In other words, from her perspective, this doesn't need to happen now. This sharing of her joy, this promoting of her music. It doesn't need to happen now. It didn't happen at this moment. So. The seatbelt signs off. Signs off. It's not a disturbance. Once you, once you, it's right here, babe. I am. So right there, you can see he's telling her she, she's trying to now control the narrative. She's not in control, and this is where she could have gotten into trouble. This is where, in my opinion, where she's wrong. And then you notice when he tells her to have a seat, she claps back at him. You have a seat. You, you have a seat. No, you're wrong. Especially if they're getting ready to take off. All right. Okay, so watch me bless him. So I used to sing on planes a long time ago. I just found out. Okay, now she's getting ready to announce her, her good news. But notice she said, let me, let, let me bless him. You're not blessing him. You're, you're actually escalating the situation. And to me, it's not a good witness because now the focus is on you, not even on your music, and certainly not on the Lord. The focus is on you. Now, you notice she's getting ready to make an announcement at, as she at, was told to sit down, right, which she had no business being up. She's the only one up walking the aisles doing takeoff. Now, Again, they might have been sitting on the tarmac, waiting to whatever, and she felt she had the right then because she felt she could control. Well, the seatbelt sign is not on. Well, we're taxiing. No, if he tell you to sit down, you need to sit down. So I used to sing on planes a long time ago. I just found out I'm up for two Grammys. My very first time, you guys. My name is Bobby Storm. So remember, she, she just introduced herself. People clap, okay, because some people are nice, okay? Some people are nice. She clapped. But understand, she had to introduce herself. So it's not like she's Taylor Swift, right? Because had that been Taylor Swift, she wouldn't have had to introduce herself, right? Of course, Taylor Swift wouldn't have been on that airplane, granted. And I'm up for two Grammys. I sing for the Lord. And my song is out on all. So <laughs> and here's what kind of what kind of bothers me. She says, I sing for the Lord. Now, let me just say this. You sing for yourself. You sing for your profit. You sing for your fame. That's what you sing for. But singing from the Lord. Let me also say this. And, and, and that the gospel music industry is not ministry. It is a industry. It is the uh, 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 counter to the secular uh, industry. In fact, remember, she's talking about she is being nominated for a Grammy. So she's very popular, I guess, enough that this song <coughs> is going to be nominated for a, a Grammy. So it's not even the gospel version of it. It's, it's the Grammys. 
right. Platforms. It's called We Can't Forget Them. Michael McDonald cleared it. Warren G is on the original record as well. It's with regulators. I want to share this with you guys. I wanted to do it when I first got on the plane. but Okay, she wanted to do this. Why? She said, I wanted to share this. Why? That, that's okay. Congratulations. But why do you feel now you needed to share this on an airplane of, diver, I, of I, uh, diverse people? So you don't know who's on the plane. You don't know who. I, maybe a person just want to come in and enjoy their flight in quiet, in peace. So why do you feel the need that you needed to say, I'm going to share this with you all. Uh, wouldn't people have found out? Certainly, if people watch the Grammys, they're going to see you at least be nominated. They're going to hear your name called. So why was it that important for you now to disturb the plane? Because that's really, at this point, this is what she's doing. She's disturbing the plane. She's forcing her joy, okay, on the plane of people who may or may not want to appreciate her joy. I was like, you know, I, I haven't done this in a while. I've gotten to the next status, so. Are you able to be quiet? But they're enjoying it. So while we're sitting here, could I please? I'm not enjoying it. So I'm asking you, can you be quiet? Okay, well, that's I a find yes, that up. That's a yes or no uh, answer, please. Am I so again, notice she's clapping back at him, right? She's she's pushing back. She's taking the fact that he's saying, I'm not enjoying it. And by the way, his word counts. Now, there may be other people on the plane who may not be enjoying it. And what's bothering some is that she's not taking that into consideration. That, okay, yeah, maybe, look, I'm married and sometimes I could share something with my wife that I want to share with my wife. And she's like, uh, please do not interrupt my program. I mean, unless it was something important, you know. My point is, is that if I continue to do that, it's now just me being selfish. It's me being, no, no, no. I want you to hear what I have to say. I want you to kind of enjoy my joy that I'm sharing with you. Okay. I'm going to go to jail if I don't. Can you please answer my question? Are you willing and able to be quiet right now? I'm doing what the Lord is telling me to do. I'm asking you a question. So this is what I hate when Christians do this. I'm doing what the Lord's telling me to do. The Lord is not telling you to promote your album that's going to profit only you, right? I mean, those that's involved with the record, but you at this in this context here. It's not going to profit anybody on the plane. And just so we're clear, she said, I'm doing, I'm doing what the Lord's told me to do. Well, who's benefiting from that? Who's benefiting from that? And now she's being confrontational with the flight attendant instead of complying. In other words, she could have been overjoyed. Yeah, I get that. But when he told you to calm down, you should have said, I'm look, my bad. I'm just so excited, you know. And it could have been left there. Now she is being confrontational. Question, yes or no. I'm your flight leader. I need you to follow my instruction. Okay. My instruction for you to answer my question. Are you able to be quiet? What right do you guys now? think? So why is she doing this right here now? Why is she turning to the crowd to say, I'm going to override this flight attendant? This is where she is dead wrong. Right here. This is where she's dead wrong. One, she's not bringing glory to God. She's not sharing her faith. And now she's not even promoting her fame or her music. She's just being confrontational. And when she says, remember in the early, uh, in the, well, the clip is actually after this, and she says she, just, she wanted, and basically what she's saying is she wants this flight attendant to know how to treat her. Well, I think you should take a page from your own words and just say, let me learn how I should treat others. I should learn that maybe not everyone wanted to share in my excitement at that time. Maybe I should have complied to the flight attendant, attendant who was just simply trying to maintain control. Because remember, 
we start off with her walking the aisles, okay? So, I'm asking you, ma'am. I'm asking you guys. What do you guys okay. think? Okay, if you're not able to, be, to follow my instruction, yeah. you will not be taking this flight. Ah, uh, okay. Are so you that's able to be asking. quiet? If that's the case, then that's fine. If you it never should have got to this point. Now she's complying. It never should have got there. So this is what I'm saying. She's wrong for that because it never should have got to the place where she had to be sort of forced to comply, threatened with removal. And then she says, okay, yes. Well, if you're going to say that, I'll comply, even though she's still going to get this last little in, okay? So that's yes. Of it all. I'm your flight leader. Yes. If you're the person in charge okay. of it all, then that's fine. Okay. Not. All right. All Thank right. you. So I'll sing it on a low for y'all in the back, if that's okay. All right. So, <laughs> so he says, "Will you be quiet?" Now remember, that's the thing. Will you be quiet? So what does she do? I'm going to sing it on the low. Again. Now we could see here, this is just, excuse me, some narcissistic tendency here that doesn't bring glory to God. She's not even sharing her faith. She's promoting her fame. She's promoting her music. That's what she's doing. She's promoting her music. And I'm saying in a bad way. So the song is called We Can't Forget Them. All right, and you can download it. I don't know the, the issue. No one else has ever had an issue, but it's fine. Well, I can tell you the issue. She said, I don't know the issue. The issue is you're not complying. The issue is that instead of complying to the flight attendant, you're still pushing your way. You're still being non-compliant. That's the issue right here. That's the issue. Let me go a step further. Spiritually speaking, the issue is you're not even sharing your faith. You're promoting your fame. You're promoting your music. That's the issue. And then secondly, how do you know everybody here wants to hear you sing? She's getting ready to sing. Beautiful voice. But how do you know everybody wants to hear you sing? Uh, you, you're forcing this on people. Despite the fact that, one, you agreed to comply. Secondly, you were told to comply. But you're still going to get that last, I'm going to do it my way. This is where she's wrong. Thank you for each day in my life, I realize I Now, I don't, I don't know, because I, I couldn't hear. It's, it, it sounds like the flight attendant is still telling her, be quiet. Or he, there's some words. So what does she do? Kind of nods. And she's still going to continue to sing. I don't need anything. I need you. But I'm here to spread what God needs me to spread. I'm here to spread that because that's what's gotten me where I am. I quit my job. Well, what are you spreading? As, uh, except by my music. What about what you're saying or your experience is going to affect or change people's life? Only the gospel can do that. 
you're selling music. You're put, promoting your fame. In October of last year, and I just went out by faith. And now here I am. So remember this face and chase the storm. All right, y'all? B-O-B-B-I, storm like the weather. Thank you guys, for sure. Thank you guys. And Bobby, you're a what now? A two-time Grammy nominated? Yes, just as of today. Two-time Grammy nominated with Maverick City, okay. the Maverick way. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so again, I'm going to say that uh, I, I'm disappointed when Christians act like this. And again, uh, so there, there's another couple of things conversion here. One, her excitement is not wrong. But yeah, she had really received some good news. Things are going great in her life, right? Okay, that's one thing. But now you're on an airplane and you're surrounded with people who may or may not want to even hear what you have to say. You're not supposed to be broadcasting. You're not supposed to be doing those things. And especially, okay, let's say she did get overexcited, right, at the news. I can get that. But when you were told to calm down, you were combative. So how is that sharing your faith? Well, where is... Where, where, when you became the center of attraction, and not in a good way, you became compatible. Now, you forced that little song, that little moment of singing on people. What if somebody would have complained? What if an atheist would have been on there? What if somebody just, okay, not even an atheist, to just, okay, I'm country and western. I do not like your singing. I do not want to hear your singing. And that's disturbing because she kept on pushing it. She kept on pushing it. And so in the end, she didn't share her faith. And in the end, stop lying on God saying that I'm doing what God told me to do because that's not what God told you to do. And then in the end, you just promoted your music. You promoted your fame. All right, guys, that's my perspective. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to VP The Bible Perspective. And as always, if you have a thought or comment, Add it to the comment section below. All comments are welcome. I'll see you in the next video.